Well, out of all the gym videos I've seen exposing men to be creeps, this one takes the cake. This man right here let his intrusive thoughts take a hold of him. Click the like button and stay tuned to see the full video. What's good, y'all? My name is Jay Hall, and I'm back again, I'm back again, I'm back again with a video. All right, y'all, before we get into this video, make sure you hit the like button. It is free 99, man. Help our brother out, man. Road to 500K subscribers, man. We're getting close. We're getting close. And also follow me on Instagram. That is the best place to reach out to me. Nine out of 10 times, I will respond. Okay? I'm checking my DMs daily. What's the most messed up thing an ex has ever done to you? I picked my ex-girlfriend up from her parents' house. She was still my girlfriend at the time. Before she got in my car, she asked if she could drive. I was surprised. She usually avoids driving as other cars on the roads usually make her nervous. Mm. We were supposed to go shopping but I noticed her driving a different direction. Mm. When I asked where we were going she said she needed to make a stop at her friend's house. Mm. I didn't mind. We were parked in front of her friend's house and she said I'll be quick and got out. Mm. She was at least 10 minutes. Mm. When she got back she kissed out of the blue. Mm. It was very passionate. Mm. When she was done she told me she knew I was going to break up with her. Mm. I was. Apparently one of her friends had heard it from one of mine. Mm. Girl gossip shit. She said I should consider the kiss a goodbye from her and the guy whose sword has just been in her mouth upstairs. I didn't want to believe it but she showed me some pretty compelling evidence on her phone. She then said goodbye and ran back into the house. This was my first ever breakup and it had to end like this. FML. Yo! Yo! But that is disgusting! She really had another guy's dang thing in her mouth and came back to kiss him just to get revenge for wanting to break up with her? Okay, that is just an evil thing to do. What? what, what, what? Where do y'all find what, what? Bro, any girl that I take seriously in a relationship, I couldn't imagine them doing something like that. Around the world. Uh, what I can tell you about steps uh, the United States uh, might take in response is that we are undertaking a review uh, of its uh, of the, our relationship with Uganda in light of this decision. But Museveni remains unperturbed. The outsiders cannot dict dictate to us. This is our, our our country. This is our society. This is our future. It is not anybody's future. And, uh, uh, the outsiders will have to live with us, or if they don't want, they take their aid, and we shall. Uganda doesn't, it's very rich, we don't need aid. We, in fact, aid is part of the problem. All right, guys, listen. I have nothing, nothing against the LGBTQ community. But you have to put your foot down when someone is trying to force something on you. You can't tell a country how to run their country. That's like a Middle Eastern country trying to dictate to America that all the women should be wearing hijabs. That's like them telling us how to run shit in America. Can y'all believe this nonsense? And he was on the dance floor and his glasses dropped on the ground and he was asking everyone, my glasses, my glasses, like on the ground looking for them. And I got the biggest fucking ache from that. Why? His glasses got knocked off his face and he's looking for them so he can be able to see and that turned her off. Get out of my life, bro. Shit. Surprise. The number of young single men in America is at a record high. This is why. I'm going to tell you about some dates that I've gone on, and then I want you to retrospectively think, is this something you'd be interested in doing on a regular basis? Number one, we're on a third date with a girl, and we're having dinner, and she really isn't vibing with it, so I ask her point blank, you don't really seem like you're having a good time, why are you here? She then says, and I truly wish this was a joke, but it's not, I don't like fat guys, but you seem rich. So I walked out of that one. Bro, wow, girls are so bold. They feel so entitled that they can just say this, like, oh, you're fat, but you seem rich, and they expect us to take them on, like, what? You're expect me to still date you after you said that bullshit? <laughs> Number two, this girl insisted we had to go to this specific bar. That's her favorite bar. So we decide to go to the bar. She shows up 30 minutes late. Turns out she doesn't drink alcohol whatsoever and has a 45 minute job interview about my life. 
I, I actually chopped that one up to being extremely hilarious because I, I just find the whole situation weird. And finally, I went on a second date with a girl who, during the second date, informed me she had two other boyfriends and OnlyFans and was a sugar baby. So if I wanted to lock her down, I needed to support her financially. Why would anyone ever subject themselves to any of this, ever? Yeah, bro, this man is getting the worst behaviors from women. And this is how it's like for a lot of average men. They get the bottom of the barrel. Some women just don't feel the need to, to be decent people when they go on dates with men. Just because a man might be average doesn't mean you should treat him with disrespect. You average too, bitch! Most of the people in this world are average. Get your fucking ego in check. Guys, this is why I don't go on dates unless the girl is like really interested already in me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking a girl on a date if she's not really interested because I'm going to be investing my time and effort for a girl that's disrespectful. And this is why I go on low investment dates like coffee. Go get some coffee, man. If she don't want to get coffee, I'm going to FTG. Forget that girl. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So all these gym videos that have been popping up recently, this is actually a scenario where a man was actually being creepy and trying to harass this woman right here. Take a look. I buzzed him in and he came inside. My thought process was it was just another dude coming in to work out. So I didn't mind, I didn't think of anything out of that. As soon as he was approaching me, I pushed him. I said, bro, what the F are you doing? Get away from me, stop trying to touch me. And he started chasing me around the bench and we ended up on the other side of the gym. My advice would be to never give up. Uh, my parents always told me in life to never give up on anything. And that's one thing I always kept in my mind when I was fighting him. As, as long as you don't give up, you fight back, you show him that you are strong, that you are one, that you're able to fight back and survive this and get out of the situation, I believe it's possible. Bro, it's men like him that give us a bad name. Like, why are you doing this? He let, he's letting his intrusive thoughts win crazy man go to the gym and work out and prove yourself don't harass girls what the hell i'm glad i'm glad she fought back and i'm glad she got away but this man he wasn't he, he clearly wasn't using a hundred percent of his strength to hold her down he wasn't i think this could have went a completely different way if he was actually a hundred percent trying to harm her but i'm glad she got away and i'm glad this man is behind bars because what the hell bro i said are you single yeah, I'm single. What's up? Where you stay at? Where I stay at? Like, I stay where you stay at. That's where I'm going to start staying at. All right, let's go. Oh, say less. And your body count's 19. I didn't say it was 19. I said 14 through 18. So what are the chances I can add one to that? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> My guy got the receipts. She said 14 through 18 times that by three. You know what I'm saying? At least 500,000. Yeah, my math is a little bit off. I need to go back to school. But regardless, it's really that easy. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you being her future boyfriend looking back and seeing this video. And he's like, damn, he really backed my girl that easily. And I'm here like buy to buy her a ring to put on her finger and marry her. But she was back that easily. It's crazy, man. <laughs> crazy in these streets. Like girls, at least be like this off camera where we where a majority of people won't see this. Like girls would be like this in front of cameras and expect not to get treated a certain way. Like, you're exposing yourself right now. You're exposing the whole operation. I need you making more money. I need you taller. I need you more muscular. I need you more charismatic. I need you more interesting. I want you to be Tupac with a PhD. While simultaneously, we're seeing women being allowed or being championed for mediocrity. In what ways? Talk to me. You're beautiful at any size. It wasn't that you had a bad attitude, it's that they were too small. It wasn't that you were intolerable, you were unbearable, he just wasn't man enough. I'm glad she was willing to listen. I'm glad she was willing to have an open ear. Cause one thing I've realized, especially in my 25 years of life, man, we tend to treat women like children. Like we don't wanna hurt their feelings because the vagina, let's not lie now, the vagina is a big motivator to appease to a woman's ego. We, we need her to feel good so we can get the vagina. Cause there's only one thing we want, the vagina. It's that valuable to us. So we will appease a girl's ego and just 
shield them away from the harsh realities of the world. And that's why women are delusional. You know what I'm saying? That's why, man. I can't blame him. Like, it is what it is. If a dude speak his mind about transgenders and all that, mm -hmm. and he get automatic counsel, how you feel about that? First of all, one, we're supposed to have freedom of speech. Number two, Facts. you free to go and push whatever it is that you believe. I should be able to push what I believe. Facts. Like, let's be clear here. These are women in this room. You mean to tell me that I automatically have to address you as one when they have had to fight to literally be the actual one that they are by nature? Hold Facts. up, let's make this clear. Because I know a lot of people argue about this. Because <laughs> women are women because they have a womb. You ain't got that. I get it. Trauma is a part of this. I get it. Certain feelings, chemical castration, mental manipulation. There's all, there's a lot of factors as to why a lot of males have grown up with this mentality feeling like they're a woman. But you have to face it and stop lying and just say, it's just how I was born. No, no, no. Look at your history. Look at your childhood. Look at everything that happened around you. Look at your diet. Look at the chemicals that were injected into your body. This is in love because I got people I know who are trans and they tell me, like, you're right. Ain't no judging and there's no hatred whatsoever. But the canceling is real interesting to me because you don't cancel the people who promote things that kill your people. You don't right. cancel the people that promote Facts. things that attack women, attack Facts. the children, manipulate the men, destroy Facts, the family. Bro. You don't cancel that. You don't cancel none of that. You don't cancel this government. They saying the same stuff they've been saying. You Facts, don't want to teach the truth about none of this, but you telling me if I say, excuse me, sir, these women deserve respect. You can't just step in there when they have been a woman their whole life and say because you feel like one, exactly, you're bro. automatically going exactly. to address the U.S. one. You get all the rights. You get to go to the restroom with them. Hold on, bro. How far you want to go? You have trans who have been brought to female prisons, and now they're trying to figure out how these female inmates is getting pregnant. Hold up. That's big facts, and it's Googleable. Let me know how far you're willing for this to go because most of the people in the LGBTQ community don't agree with most of the stuff that the government is pushing. It ain't okay. them. Okay. Who owns these networks? Who owns this? And that's the other thing. The LGBTQ got to stand up against the people who are dressing up as LGBTQ to destroy the livelihood of everybody else. Y'all got to confront your own damn people. Just like we got to confront our own people for killing each other. Man, this man is very educated on this subject. Like he spoke all he spoke all facts right here, bro. If a man can just easily become a woman because they feel like it. And if a man can be named the woman of the year, what does that say about actual women? They are making you guys look like a joke. Because a grown ass man, muscles and all, can put on a wig and a dress and be referred to as ma'am. And he's a woman. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this matter. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace out. Stay up.